Eco Plus 2 Hub Removal and Refit Tools Required Standard Hammer BPW Hubcap Spanner Turn the hubcap anti-clockwise so the acorn shape aligns with the mark on the hub. Ensure correct safety procedures are followed when jacking up the axle. Remove the securing clip and locking block. Tools required. Ratchet with extension, spindle nut socket. Unscrew the hub bolt in an anti-clockwise direction. Only use recommended tools as shown. Do not use air tools or apply excessive force, as this may damage components. Once the hub bolt is disengaged from the thread, remove the assembly. If you experience any difficulty detaching the hub, please use the BPW hub puller as shown in the next section. Tools required. Ratchet with extension, spindle bolt socket, circlip pliers. Remove the circlip with circlip pliers. Unscrew the hub bolt completely in an anti-clockwise direction. If the hub bolt is still difficult to remove, please contact BPW for specialist advice. Only use recommended tools as shown. Do not use air tools or apply excessive force, as this may damage components. Tools required. Ratchet with extension and 32mm socket. BPW Eco Plus 2 hub puller and circlip pliers. Please contact BPW Limited for advice regarding hub pullers for Eco Max, Eco Plus, and Eco Plus 3. Secure the hub puller with the existing circlip using the circlip pliers. Lightly grease the hub puller bolt. Screw the bolt into the hub puller. When using the hub puller, additional force may be applied if required. Once the hub fixing is detached safely, remove the assembly. Cleaning the axle stub. Equipment required. Brake cleaner, non-abrasive cloth, fine emery cloth if required. Liberally apply brake cleaner to axle stub. If heavy deposits are visible, lightly rub with a fine grain emery cloth. Do not use a coarse or abrasive cloth as this could damage the axle stub. Check axle thread condition with the hub bolt. Ensure the bolt screws completely into and out of the axle stub without resistance. If there is resistance, please contact BPW for specialist advice. Equipment required. BPW Eco Li Plus Grease. Lightly apply grease to the external and internal areas of the axle stub. Cleaning the inside of the hub. Apply brake cleaner to a non-abrasive cloth. Do not spray brake cleaner directly into the hub as this could degrade the condition of the grease in the bearings. Hub refitment, aligning the hub fixing components to the axle stub. Ensure the BPW logo on the serrated washer is visible through the window of the hub bolt. The BPW logo 
indicates the position of the locating pin on the reverse side of the washer to aid alignment. Ensure correct refitment of circlip using circlip pliers. Ensure the axle and hub are aligned in order to refit smoothly. Make adjustments to align the locating pin to its correct position as previously shown. When correctly aligned, the serrated washer should not rotate as the axle bolt is turned. Fasten the axle bolt whilst rotating the hub assembly until the clutch mechanism on the bolt slips, creating an audible click. Check there is no end float present. No free play should be detected. If end float is detected, check the hub fitment and readjust. Fitment of the securing clip and block. Ensure the locking bolt is pressed flush to the hub bolt and that the securing clip sits underneath the hexagonal sections. Hubcap refitment. Whenever you remove the hubcap, you must always replace the O-ring with a new one. Apply a thin layer of BPW Eco Ally Plus grease to the inside rim of the hubcap. Refit the hubcap and rotate approximately 30 degrees clockwise until the wedge symbol is aligned with the mark on the hub. When working on this equipment, please observe all normal health and safety procedures for workshop activities. Only BPW trained personnel should work on BPW equipment. If you require further assistance, or if you are interested in BPW training, please contact BPW Limited. <laughs>